Hi everyone, welcome to JavaScript coding interview series. In today's video, you have to find the code output and you have to provide a valid reason wh why you have got that particular output. Okay. In this particular uh, session, I have not provided the options and you have to try from your end and you have to get to the answer. Okay. So please try from your end. Okay. The question is, we have a let uh, variable let person in that we are trying to create a new class uh, class and in that we have a constructor and in the constructor there are two arguments first name and last name and it is having two property it is uh, accessing the first uh, it is creating two property this dot first name where uh, it is assigning the first argument in the constructor first name and we have a this dot last name and it is uh, assigning the second argument of that constructor is passed into uh, last name and what we are trying to create we are trying to create a new person where variable where const person in that we are trying to create a new class new person and we are trying to pass the uh, two arguments learn and javascript okay learn as the first name and javascript as the second uh, last name so after that we are trying to print a console.log of uh, person dot name so we person we know that this is a class and we are trying to access name so name actually it is it does not exist within that uh, person class okay but still we are trying to access name so uh, please try from your end and see what is the output you are getting so let's try from our end and see what is the output you are getting i have this particular script available in test.js file and this script i am calling in index.html as you can see here so let me run this particular index.html and make sure that everything is running up running fine Okay, so I am running that index.html. Now it's up. For the moment, let me uh, comment this console and okay, and open the console in the browser. Let me refresh it. Okay, let me refresh and uh, open the console. Okay, so now the console is there. So uh, as you can see here what we are trying to do we are actually trying to create a new uh, variable let person and in that we are uh, have assigning a class okay a class with the constructor and arguments and two properties we are uh, assigning and we are trying to create a new uh, const person variable in that we are creating a new person and passing the arguments and in the console.log what we are trying to do we are actually as uh, accessing the person object okay person uh, variable initially created and we are uh, trying to access the name so before we deep dive into this particular thing right we have to understand what is a class okay what is a class all about and after that how a class is hoisted and what are the different ways of uh, uh, expressing uh, declaring a class then we will uh, come back to this particular solution okay the solution is straightforward so before that we have to deep dive and see what is what a class is okay so let's see what a class is what are classes so classes are a template for creating objects okay it is a template for creating objects and you can see that we can encapsulate data with the code to work on that data in our case we had two properties okay first name and last name so this is not known to the outside world we don't know the like outside world like this person does not know whether these properties are first name or last name and what it is doing with these two arguments so it is not known to this person and hence we can say that it is encapsulating the data with the code to work on that data and it is built on prototypes uh, that uh, but also have some semant uh, syntax and semantics which is not uh, shared with the es5 class like semantics as you know uh, classes uh, have been introduced from es6 okay so basically it is a template for creating objects it can encapsulate the data with the code to work on that data it is built on prototypes and it also has syntax and semantics which is not shared with the es5 class like semantics now how to define classes okay so classes are uh, basically uh, we say that it's a special function and uh, we can actually there is a function expression and function declaration similarly we have class expression and class declaration okay and the hoisting part there is a major difference between how a function is hoisted and how a class is hoisted okay so functions can be called in code that appears before they are defined okay but classes must be defined before they can be constructed otherwise we will it will be throwing a reference error because class is hoisted 
but its values are not initialized. So we can see that in action how a class is hoisted. So I have a person, okay, I have a person uh, variable and it's creating a class, it's uh, uh, assigning a class and I'm trying to uh, uh, access this person before it is called, okay. So let me uh, try to do that and what will happen? So I'm accessing this person before it is uh, getting created and I'm trying to print console.log of uh, person dot first name okay if I print this what will happen or uh, even if I didn't print okay if when I, even I am trying to access that itself so I am running this so let me open the console and you can see here it is throwing a reference error because it cannot access person before initialization okay so what happen if I move this two uh, piece of code uh, after it is initialized okay if it is initialized after that I am calling that person so you can see here it is getting printing uh, first name that is learn in this case. So that's what hoisting is completely different okay the but the function can be called in a code before they are defined but a class cannot be it will throw a reference error class is hoisted but its values are not initialized okay. So this is the way how hoisting works for classes. And then we have class expressions and we have class declaration but in this example we are just looking into the class expressions. A class expression is another way to define a class okay apart from that we have the class declaration. So class expressions can be named or unnamed and the name given to a named class expression is local to the class body however it can be accessed via the name property. What it means is okay. So in this case what we try to do as per the question okay we have tried to uh, access this name. So initially what we thought name does not exist on this person okay and hence it will throw an undefined or a reference error or is not defined okay but what it is meaning is so this is a class okay and it has no name it is like an anonymous function we, you, we have an anonymous function right. So similarly class is having two things okay one is named and an another one is okay we have a named and unnamed okay in this case it is uh, unnamed okay it is unnamed and what it means is that it is not having any name this class is not having any name and we are trying to uh, call this particular name it can be accessed via the name property. So in this case it will be printing the variable itself okay when I as access person dot name for an unnamed function unnamed class okay for an unnamed class it will actually uh, this is the type of person okay so the name itself will be uh, printed so you can see here person is printed so in if it is like if it is having a name okay if it is having a name of uh, name details okay it is this is called a named class okay name details in this case if I print console.log okay so it is printing whatever name we have provided that name will be printed in the console. So this is the main difference between uh, class uh, named and unnamed class expression okay. So if the name is not defined we can say that it is an unnamed class expression in that this particular variable itself will be printed as the person dot name and if it is a named variable named class then uh, whatever name we have provided that will be printed. So I hope you got an idea about uh, class expression. So we can use the name property to access the name that is given to the class expression. If it is not given then whatever uh, variable we are uh, creating that will be the uh, name okay name value. So I hope you got an abo idea about class and uh, how the way it is hoisted and the class expressions. So that is it for today's video thanks a lot for watching. <music>